Alright, this is my first ride on my 2023 Yamaha YZ250 FX. Welcome back. Like I said, this is my first ride on my new 2023 YZ250 FX. In my last video, I detailed everything I did to get it ready to ride, so check that out if you haven't already. I'm at the Ridge Outdoor Resort in Springville, Alabama for my first ride. My first ride on every new bike I bought since 2017 has been here at the Ridge, so I see no reason to break that tradition. For the past 18 months or so, I've been riding my 2021 YZ250FX. This bike is very close to the same bike, but there are a few differences, and I'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Is that your first mile? Yeah. Nice. I put a mile or so in, and now I'm going to join up with my friend Justin Ridley from Max Motorsports, and we're going to hit some trails. Starting out with an eight mile loop that combines several double track and single track trails. It starts out on trail 31 or 32, I think. This trail's gotten really rough and rain rutted since the last time I was here. You can't really tell in the video, but there's tons of loose rocks hiding under those leaves. It's a good test for the suspension. In my opinion, the YZ250FX is by far the best overall bike for hair scrambles and sprint enduros. Again, this is only my opinion, but my race results are a pretty good indicator just looking at the number of class wins I've gotten since I switched to the YZ250FX. I don't evangelize about the bike a lot on this channel because if everybody I race against switches to a YZ250FX, then I've got no competitive advantage. But overall, the 2020 and newer YZ250FX handles and tracks better than any bike I've ever ridden. It's extremely stable at high speed, and the combination of the chassis and the KYB suspension is a Goldilocks setup for hair scramble and sprint enduro type racing. This is a fun hill climb coming up right here. This is Trail 53. This is one of my favorite double track trails at the ridge. I plan to buy a new bike every year or every two years for a few reasons. These bikes hold their value well, so it really doesn't cost that much to go buy a new one and sell the old one. As long as you take care of them and maintain them properly, they hold their value extremely well. Another motivating factor is that I'm continuously trying to keep this channel growing, and new bike videos typically do really well on YouTube. It also provides a lot of video opportunities for modifications and upgrades and such. There are a few differences between this bike and my 2021 model. Yamaha made some minor changes from the 21 to the 22 model, and the 23 model is exactly the same bike as the 22 model. Those changes include some minor changes to the brake calipers and rotors. The most noticeable change for me from the 21 to the 23 is that the 23 engine feels much smoother and much more rev happy. It just revs effortlessly and it's extremely smooth. It's a very noticeable difference for me. I think that's likely due to the modified balance or weight position noted here but the redesigned exhaust camshaft and ECU settings probably play a part in that as well. It also seems to have much less engine braking than my 21 model. I'm running the same key for hard hitting map that I was running in the 21 model. That's by far my favorite map and it's rare that I change it to anything else. I do have the key for free filling map loaded in map 2 and I'll use that occasionally. Oh, damn, I'm tired now. That's only eight miles. Oh boy, you wore me out already. <laughs> Shortly after that, Justin and I made our way up to the drag track. And that's a great place to practice dead starts. Three, two, one. <laughs> Fast bike. <laughs> I mean, 
mean, we were dead even. Yeah. I was giving this one all it had. Really? Three, two, one. <laughs> I'll wrap up the video here with the ride on trail 14. This is probably the fastest double track trail at the ridge. It flows really well with nice burned up turns and it's a lot of fun, so I'll let it play out here. Overall, I'm really happy with the new bike. It handles and turns just like my 21 did, and the improved engine characteristics of the 22 and 23 models are just icing on the cake. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please subscribe, hit the like button, and comment to let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.